A federal high court in Abuja on Thursday dismissed a fundamental rights enforcement suit filed by Nnamdi Kanu against the Department of State Services. The presiding judge, James Omotosho, held that Kanu's suit lacked merit and ought to be dismissed. In the suit, Kanu alleged that he was subjected to inhumane treatment and torture by the DSS and also claimed that he is not allowed to wear his Igbo traditional attire, popularly called Ishiagu, and that he is restricted to wearing only one outfit, while other detainees are allowed to wear clothes of their choice. While well, in a counter affidavit, the DSS denied the allegations and stated that operatives never tortured Kanu, either physically or mentally, while in their custody. Well, the secret police submitted that the facility is not a recreational center or a traditional festival where Kanu and other suspects will be allowed to adorn themselves in their respective native attire. Well, in the meantime, following up on the insecurity in the southeast, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, on Thursday, in a tweet that has now gone viral, described the sit-at-home directive in the southeast imposed by a group of Biafra agitators as the handiwork of a criminal enterprise. Peter Obi called on security agencies to take urgent steps to deal with the heightened insecurity in the region and crime across the country. He also clarified that the indigenous peoples of Biafra have disowned the sit-at-home directive and also commended southeastern governors for their efforts in curbing criminal activities in the region. One of the reactions to Peter Obi's tweet was from a self-proclaimed prime minister of the Biafra Republic government, Simon Ekba, who lives in Finland, in responding to uh, Obi's uh, tweet, described him as uh, the spokesperson of the indigenous peoples of Biafra. Well, Dr. Bati, this uh, tweet from by Samuel Ekba um, garnered a lot of reactions. But, you know, Peter Obi did not say anything different from what we have been saying. Also, we do know that IPOP had already disassociated themselves from, you know, all the menace happening in the southeast. Uh, I'd love for you to just quickly comment well, before I, we... Um, I think I'll be very brief. Yes. Simon Ekba should just be ignored. You can't sit in uh, Finland Absolutely. and be causing problems in Nigeria. Why the Nigerian government has not further pursued the diplomatic channel for ensuring that the Finnish authorities are calling to order or sanctioning one, one way or the other is what I do not understand. Maybe that's something for the Tinubu administration to, look to consider. The second point is that Mr. Peter B was making a patriotic point yes. by saying that, look, you know, peace and security is important. And that IPOP, speaking through Emma Powerful, I haven't seen a... A statement from him lately, you know, he's been quiet. Maybe he will, he will wake up and say something. Mm -hmm. You know, the IPOP does not support sit at home. And that the people supporting sit at home and the violence belong to a criminal enterprise. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. B, speaking as a statesman. Finally, as for the matter before the court of James, uh, Justice James Omotosho, where the court is, you know, found in favor of the DSS. Yes. To say that you can't wear Isiagu in detention. There is a dress code. It's when not, you are detained, in fact, they don't allow you to use yeah, belt. It's you, not can't, you can't use belt. Right. You can't uh, use tie. You can't, you can't go to, the, uh, you can't be in detention and say you want to dress as you like because they say they don't want you to use anything <laughs> that can send the wrong message or endanger Absolutely. your life. Said, in any case, this is fundamental human rights mm -hmm. and he has pushed the matter and the court has ruled. Well said. That exactly. This guy, Eh, Samuel Akba, he should be arrested with immediate effect. May they pick him for that Finland where he did from there, the cost Balaba for Niger. I just talk him as he be, say, now for their selfish interest, and God go punish them. As they say, may peace not there for Igbo land, conquer Ebreafa, take over face. They operate, like I said, they are fighting for the Igbos. They are like, 